Hey guys, I'm Elliot from Muckoff. Today we're gonna to be showing you a really simple how-to video using our no puncture hassle tubeless sealant. So for the purpose of this how-to, we're gonna be using this 2018 Canyon Cylinder behind me. This comes exactly the same spec as Troy Brosnan and the factory racing team use on the World Cup circuit. So because we've got a brand new tire on this one, we've already gone ahead and done a dry run setup. Now, if you wanna see how to do this for yourself, all you need to do is click the link at the end of this video and it's gonna show you everything you need to know. If you have non-removable valve cores on your tire, you can either pour the sealant directly into an unseated tire or you can measure specifically with the scoop provided as part of our kit. The first thing we need to do with our dry setup is release any pressure that's still left inside the tire. The next step is gonna be removing the valve core. Now to do this, all you need is a valve core removal tool and one of these little bad boys comes handy as part of your tubeless kit. Using the oval hole at the top, slide it over the valve core and rotate in an anti-clockwise direction. With the valve at the 12 o'clock position and on the non-drive side of the bike, we're gonna go ahead and slot the pouch over the valve, which has been designed specifically to fit straight on. Be sure to check the recommended amounts on the back of the pouch. For the purposes of this downhill setup, we're gonna be using the full 140 mil as recommended. To fill the tire with sealant, rotate the wheel round to the six o'clock position. There are specific increments on the back of the pouch to allow you to dispense exactly how much you need as per the tire you're running on your setup. If you need to dispense a specific amount, squeeze lightly on the top of the pouch and fold down to the desired fill line. Once you've dispensed the desired amount, rotate the wheel round to the three o'clock position, remove the pouch and reinsert your valve core. To inflate the tire, we recommend that you use a tubeless specific pump as this is gonna bring the tire up to pressure nice and quickly. To keep your valve core removal tool nice and handy, you can use the O-rings provided as part of the kit. This allows you to stash it over the valve and comes in handy if you ever get caught out on the trails. Last off, we're gonna spin the back wheel, give the bike a shake from side to side to ensure we get even coverage throughout the tire. A really good tip for you, once you've got the tubeless sealant into the tire and the tire is up to pressure, take the wheel off, bounce it lightly against the ground whilst rotating. This is gonna give you the best coverage between the tire and the rim to minimize any air loss. With our sealant installed, there's only one thing left to do, let's go shred. 